Throughout the 2010s, Killer Mike and LP established themselves as legends in the hardcore hip-hop scene with their collaboration as Run the Jewels. It's been four years since their last studio album, but the wait is finally over. And with the first half of 2020 going the way that it has, they couldn't have come back at a better time. Here are five interesting facts about Run the Jewels 4. The opening track is titled Yankee and the Brave Episode 4. In the outro of the closing track, there's an ode to Yankee and the Brave as well. But what is Yankee and the Brave? On Instagram, LP stated that it's a fictional TV show that the album represents in which LP is Yankee and Killer Mike is the Brave. The character names also reflect the baseball teams of the cities that the two of them are from, that being the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves. On the seventh track, Just, the hook states, Look at all these slave masters posing on your dollar. What they're pointing out here is that Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Andrew Jackson, and Ulysses S. Grant all owned slaves, and all of them appear on American currency. The only ones who didn't are Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill and Abraham Lincoln on the five. It's probably not something you often think about, but it's interesting when you consider the fact that everything runs on money. We are all slaves to the almighty dollar, and the original masters are still overseeing you every time you open your wallet. Speaking of just, yes, that is Zach De La Rocha's voice on the end of the hook and in the final verse. De La Rocha hasn't made a musical appearance since Run the Jewels 3, so it seems that if we're ever going to hear anything new from the Rage Against the Machine frontman, it's going to be on a Run the Jewels album. He doesn't disappoint either. His verse is full of revolutionary political themes and proves that he's still got it even after being out of practice for several years at a time. Once things go back to normal a bit, Run the Jewels is set to open for Rage on their comeback tour, so if you attend, there's a chance you may get to see this one performed live. On the fourth track of the album, you may have caught something interesting that LP says in the third verse. The Colorado River Toad has a defense mechanism that produces 5-MeO DMT, one of the most powerful hallucinogens in the world. The line after LP mentions licking a toad, he mentions time elves. Many accounts of the psychedelic experience brought on by 5-MeO DMT, as well as its close relative DMT, express an encounter with other beings. What these beings are described as varies from person to person, but LP refers to them as elves. This harps back to descriptions given by author and lecturer Terence McKenna. I found LP's production throughout RTJ4 to be much more immersive and psychedelic than previous works. It appears his approach to production has become more influenced by his psychedelic experiences. On the sixth track, Walking in the Snow, Killer Mike delivers what struck me as the most powerful verse of his career. And you so numb, you watch the cops choke out a man like me Until my voice goes from a shriek to whisper, I can't breathe This verse comes off the heels of the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He points out that news outlets on TV spread fear to the masses. This may be a lot of things, this moment we're living through, but it is definitely not about black lives. And remember that when they come for you, and at this rate, they will. And make people so desensitized that they can watch a man be slowly choked to death, and the most they'll do about it is post on social media. George Floyd wasn't just a member of the black community or Minneapolis community. He was a member of everyone's community. And just like if it was your father or your brother in that video, you should be outraged that these events that ruined so many lives forever have been allowed to continue with little to no justice. Killer Mike gave a very moving speech amid the protests in Atlanta. It is your duty to fortify your own house so that you may be a house of refuge in times of organization. And now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. There will be a link to the full speech in the description, as well as links to organizations dedicated to seeking justice for those who experience these atrocities. Take a look and consider donating if you have the means. Thanks for watching.